Hi, my name is Lindsay Gans. I'm the director at the Columbus Public Library. Uh, today we are going to be making this wood sign um, craft together. All of the supplies needed to make this wood sign can be picked up at the Columbus Public Library. Um, so uh, join me as I show you all of the steps to create your own beautiful sign. So in your kit you will find a pencil, a paintbrush, a piece of graphite transfer paper, you'll have a jar of paint, and you'll be able to pick up your choice of a board and a design for your project. Um, so this wood sign, um, you can, you want to look at both sides of the board and this side is a little bit rough, so I'm going to use this side. Um, I also think for me it's easier to kind of move the design around um, and I'm going to cut it apart because I think it's much easier um, for me to get it centered if the design is a little bit smaller. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to kind of move it around a little bit and I think I like it right there. And I think I'll decide if I'm going to do this one maybe up a little bit. So I think I like the way that looks. So I'm going to crease the edge just so that it's easier for um, my sign to stay in place. You also could get a little piece of tape and tape um, your design to the wood board. The next thing you need to do is um, take your transfer paper and you'll notice that it has a, sh a shiny side. Um, and a side that's more of a matte finish. So you want to make sure that the shiny side is facing down. <clears throat> like so. And you can place your paper right at the top. And for the next part, all you do to transfer your design now is you trace around the edges with your pencil. And you will be painting over this, so it doesn't have to be super perfect. Um. All right. Now I'm just going to peek to make sure it's transferring well, um, and that looks really great. I'm really happy with that. Um, the next part I'm going to put down here. And before I get started, I wanted to um, show you too that I thought it'd be really cute to have a couple of little dots there. So you can go ahead and hand draw on any design you want as well. Um, but if you're going to do that, you want to make sure that you're not um, doing that on your transfer paper until you're ready to go with your design. So, I'll go right here. Make sure. Looks good. And I think that looks good.
So if you decided you wanted to personalize your sign even more, um, you could print off any of your own designs um, from your computer at home or come into the library and print them off um, and then really personalize your sign. So if you wanted your last name or um, uh, you know a different slogan on there, that um, would be fine too. So as you can see, we have our sign ready to go here. And the next thing that you would do then is um, just start painting and you want to be really careful not to get too much paint on your paintbrush um, because if you get too much then um, with some of these skinnier lines it might be harder to um, stay in the lines. So I'm just going to start with a little bit and do some of the um, skinnier areas first before I get too much paint on my brush. So we'll have a variety of designs to choose from at the library. Um, some of them will be um, thankful, grateful, blessed. Um, we'll have some other fall themed designs to choose from. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're painting, you want to make sure that you're painting from left to right too, or right to left depending on if you're um, right-handed or left-handed so that you're not going to smudge your paint. Um, on your hand. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Um, so like I said, you can pick up all of the supplies at the Columbus Public Library. Um, so visit us during our open hours to pick up your own kit and we look forward to seeing you at the library. Thank you.